Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to our weekly training series, our Power Partners United, hosted by the Women of Power. I am your friendly host, Marisa Fletcher, and then I have with me today Miss Isela. She's going to be our co-host. We also have Miss Chris and Cynthia on the line as well. Um, hi, everybody. Thanks for joining, and we're going to get right started. All right, as everyone knows, if you've been here before, you know we always like to get started with our recognition moment. You know, we are here to inspire, share, you know, give people, help people create the vision of why they wanna be a part of this wonderful company, why they wanna help homeowners go solar and help save our planet. So let's start with our recognition moment. Um, and that is any wins that you've had in the last week. There are some examples on the slide, but you know what? We're open to any wins, any wins, business, personal. Um, you know, have you helped the family go solar, gotten a utility bill, maybe moved up a tier? Um, I'm going to ask you guys to jump off of mute and share with us. Okay. Who's going to go first? Don't be shy. Any wins out there? I've got a couple wins. So this past week, I had two installs this past week. Um, so those are wins for me, but even more, uh, an even better win for me, I've been working, I've had a couple difficult files or difficult uh, permits in a particular city where it took a while to get our permits and I got those permits this week too. So I was super excited about that for those homeowners. We've been waiting a couple months to get our permits. So we got those, just a couple of difficult files. So. Super excited about that. Amy? Let's see. I can go next. Um, let's see. Um, I had an installation this week. I think I have two. I, I can't, honestly, I can't keep track right now, <laughs> which is such an awesome feeling. Um, and then also, um, I know Angela Robinson isn't on, but um, uh, we, we've uh, actually, oh, she's actually going, coming in right now, but Let's see, uh, let me give her a minute to come in so that I can talk about what we've been working on with her. I have an appointment today with the firefighter at a fire station and I took it at the fire station on purpose because there's other, you know, there's other potentials there. And first responders are great to work with because they have a secure job now that we're heading into the recession, right? And, um, and there they have income, so and they have homes. <laughs> so first responders, I love working with them. So, um, so with Angela, uh, we, uh, one of her, uh, I was her mentee on one of her projects. And um, it looks like we are going with a cash deal. Um, he's a very uh, meticulous uh, homeowner where he's looking at all the contract, at all the details, really studied, had other, had other uh, proposals. And he really liked Angela and I, like our knowledge, what we brought to the table. So he's looking over, I already sent him the solar docs to sign. So he's looking them over. So just wait to the signs on the finish line, but just want to congr congratulate Angela. And um, yeah, that's what we're working on. So thank you. Nice, nice. Thanks for that share, Isela. And congrats, Angela, on that win. Thank you. Can you, can you share with us a little bit about that client? Maybe where you got that client from or? Actually, I, um, I'm trying to put my camera on here to the computer, so I'm going to cuckoo over here. There okay. you are. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everybody. I, um, so I'm new to power, but I've been doing solar for a few months. Um, and I put the ad that I got on one of the marketing promotions on Facebook. So that's how, and he responded to it. And that's how I got it. Nice. Um, yeah, someone, uh, yeah, he responded to it and asked questions and we've just, we've been taking it over. So he's actually my first one with power. And I, I really appreciate Stella helping me with this deal because I don't know a lot of the power aspect of everything. So it's Working. That's okay. That's what we're here for. That's why we meet every week so we can learn and help each other. Welcome to the platform. Great job. Thank you, Thank Great you job. so much. Yeah, and, and off of Facebook too. That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. So I've been trying to, I've been trying to, look, I've been putting it on every week after that. <laughs> so, but he did respond. So that was one. And that was good because it was the first time that I, I did it. So for him to respond on that, I was really surprised. And we were competing against a Facebook couple of other, ad. so, but the fact that we were also competing against other proposals that he looked at without having any, 
you know, personal connection, that's pretty outstanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great job. Great job. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. You're welcome. Are there any more shares out there? Uh, Marisa, I'll share kind of to your point, you know, getting permits approved this month, we came out of a summer that was super, super busy. And it's always kind of a rough summer, you guys, let's be honest, power is growing out of control. And summers are always really rough on companies on the cities. And so it's now it's the time of year where we're getting all these installed. And so I, I'm having a bunch of installs getting put on the schedule. And it's just so nice to bring you know, bring those projects to a close. So I'll just shout that out as a win for, for myself. And I know for a lot of us out there. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better. Cynthia, thank you so much for that input, everything she just said. And we're all happy that we're helping our clients get these closings. And I don't think it could be a better time than right now, right? <laughs> Especially with everything that's on the table and everything coming up. Is there anyone else out there that has any wins, any, any, speakers. I'll share another little quick win. Um, we have our power day. Many of you know we have our live power day coming up this Saturday. Um, so uh, for those that don't know, we do power days where we do business presentation and then training, in-field training um, on utility bills or lead gen. Um, and that's usually from 10 a.m. to like 1 a.m. Or, or I'm sorry, 1 p.m., 1, uh, 1 to 2 p.m. So it's very intensive. It's great training. We do that once a month. It's either virtual or live. So this, uh, the California one is going to be in San Diego down at corporate. So that's a win for me. It'll be my first time hosting um, down at corporate. I've done it one other time before, but you know, the more of these that we do, the better we get and the stronger we get and the more our business grows. So, you know, if you guys have um, done a speaking engagement, whether it was in your home or at, some, at an organization, anything like that, those are wins too. And please share those if you have them. Okay, anyone else? Hey, Denise, hey, Vicky. I see everybody jumping in. Christina, Lily, I see your hand up. The floor is yours. Share with us, please. Yes, I have a scheduled uh, installation this Saturday. <laughs> nice. This yeah. Saturday. Nice, nice, nice. So share with us about that installation. Did, how did you get that lead? Can you mind sharing? Yeah, I got that from uh, Ambassador, um, the homeowner that referred me like seven deals. So this is uh, the last installation, but he has other two that I'm working on with. Amazing. So let me see if I'm hearing that correctly. So what I believe I heard was that you have an ambassador on your team and he's on deal number seven and looking to refer you to more. Yeah. So he was uh, my client um, two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, signed up for second house and referred uh, six more. That's yeah. amazing, Lily. <laughs> That's an amazing story. Lily is very humble, but she's. she's <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> but you've obviously mastered that ambassador program, or I mastered the art of referrals, or how to ask for referrals. So, yeah. so I hear you're very humble, Lily. But I might be pulling on you to share some tips and tricks on one of our upcoming meetings. <laughs> Those are the kind of ambassadors we call whales. Those are the ones you want to spe send a special gift to. Oh, yeah. yeah. They definitely, definitely are well-connected. Seven is amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. That is amazing. And that's one of the reasons I love our ambassador program, right? Um, because maybe we don't have a utility bill for that day. Maybe we didn't do a presentation that day. But you know what? We can sign up an ambassador. And if we work that program, eventually those ambassadors pan out and help us with our referrals. So that's awesome. Thank you for that share, Lily. Thank anyone you else? Oh, of course. Anytime, anytime. Is there anyone else? Want maybe one more before we jump into our training? Got room for one more. This is great. I just got a new uh, contract signed and uh, scheduled for a site survey as of yesterday. So yeah, that's my win today. Beautiful win, Vicki. I think it's a beautiful win. Contract signing. Where'd yeah. you get that client from? Uh, it's actually through BNI. <laughs> awesome. I love BNI. How long have you been a part of BNI? I literally just joined like a, less than a week. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you gave maybe your 30 second or minute presentation and it got you a bill that quick. Well, I had a, um, a visit, um, a visit uh, with the BNI and then I connected with that particular gentleman and then I joined and then literally, I mean, so officially just made the payment and joined as a few days ago. So, yeah. Mm, that is so a I, great yeah. return. So be that was <laughs> Nice. Yeah, exactly. mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. We talk about BNI or team or any referral networks quite a bit. So I love hearing those stories of, of how it actually works. So thank you for that share, Miss Vicki. Thank you. You're welcome. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen that are on the call, thank you. Thank you so much for participating. And we are going to jump right into the next portion of our training, which is the wonderful Miss Erin Gantt. So today, this week, um, we're going to be talking about Clearwater Insurance. It's a slight change, I, I will say, because one of our hosts, Miss Chris, is feeling a little bit under the weather. Um, and so we had to swap her out last minute and we said, hey, what better topic to discuss than insurance? Okay, there's a lot going on right now. People are getting the flu and not feeling well. Um, and we don't have a lot of options for insurance when it comes to um, uh, independent contractors and Clearwater has decided to step in, be Power's premier insurance carrier, one of their premier carriers. And we now have the benefit of offering healthcare with this company. So on that note, I am going to turn the screen over to Ms. Erin, who is here, and she is gonna share with us about Clearwater insurance plans. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, thanks so much for having me on, y'all. Marissa, that's uh, it, everything that you just said is so important. Uh, I think, as all of you guys know, building your own business, there are so many hurdles that you have to get over uh, at every aspect of that, right? Like at every interval, um, you know, as you're growing your business, you've kind of got to think about all kinds of different things. And healthcare ends up being one of those hassles, one of those things that kind of can hold you back that maybe you're spending a little bit too much money on or um, that you don't have. And then all of a sudden you get sick or you break your ankle or whatever it is. Right. And you have this big lump sum of money that can't go into your business. Uh, You can't go out and see your, your uh, partners and, and work with your different people because you're at home, right? You want to have this insurance that is available to you to make sure that not only are you getting all of that preventative care, making sure that you're taking care of your body uh, and your family, uh, but also, you know, limiting that financial risk. If something big were to happen, making sure that you feel comfortable about taking care of yourself and going in uh, and getting the help that you need. Uh, And so what we are here to do is basically, uh, you know, give you the information, give you the products uh, that we've created with uh, self-employed individuals in mind. Um, You know, there's not a ton of of options. I'm sure that, uh, especially right now, because it is open enrollment season. So uh, some of you guys might have jumped on this already um, and hopped on to healthcare.gov and are looking at plans and kind of readjusting Uh, Maybe there's a couple of you that haven't done this yet uh, and are kind of pushing it back towards the end of the month, but I'm here to just encourage you um, to really look into this, get it done, get it checked off, uh, and also to tell you like how we can help you do that. Um, Clearwater, uh, I'll go ahead and and share my screen Um, here one second. But Clearwater, can you guys all see my screen here? Awesome. Uh, So Clearwater, you know, we jumped into this partnership uh, this year, and that's because Power, you guys came to us. You said, hey, we have this problem, right? Uh, We don't have really quality, affordable options uh, for our sellers, for our ambassadors, for everybody that's working under this umbrella, right? Uh, And we need something that is going to help us, you know, cover our our sellers, make sure that they are covered when they need it. Um, And so we came into this and I have talked to so many uh, our sellers and team members already. uh, And it's just been so important to hear about your stories, about 
you know, the growth that you guys are having uh, and our ability to come in and help with that. So hopefully today um, I'll leave you guys with a good overview of the healthcare um, and then also how to get like the next step, how to really uh, get in touch with us, talk to someone one-on-one, -on -one, ask the questions that you need, compare and contrast plans, uh, and hopefully save you guys some money uh, while increasing the benefits that you have available for you and your family. Uh, and so I like to kind of start out and, you know, some of you guys might have been on our master class yesterday, but I just feel like this is so important to know, uh, especially as you're going out and building a team. Uh, and, and, you know, as women, especially in like this industry, knowing what are some of the hassles that we're going to have to deal with uh, when we're recruiting people. Uh, and really building that team out. Um, and so this is something that is really, really important for people. Almost 30% of people who are self-employed just don't have health care. And so if they're off working on their own, right, most likely the only thing that they have available to them is uh, healthcare.gov. Uh, and it can be very confusing. Uh, it can be hard. Uh, and the benefits sometimes aren't that great. Uh, so really building this out as something to, you know, recognize when you are bringing somebody into the business, when you're asking someone about what they're doing as an ambassador and how we can help them, uh, healthcare can be one of those talking points. Uh, and then personally, you know, if you are one of those people that is sitting there, you're typically healthy and kind of coasting along, I need you to hear this. Like you have to understand that you have options and that this will save your life uh, and be there as a backbone to make sure that you are living a healthy uh, life as a professional here. Uh, so when you're thinking about the costs of being uninsured, these are some simple things uh, that have happened just recently within even my organization. OK, uh, and so really taking uh, into account, like how much something actually costs when it happens is important. Even just if your child uh, goes in and has a head injury, you can look at these different things on the very bottom. It's a couple thousand dollars that you're just pushing towards that. And so knowing that you can take control of that, that you have options uh, is important. And then the other piece of that is knowing what plan you're on. Do you have the right benefits? Uh, how much is your du deductible going to be? How much will you eventually pay out of pocket, right? If something big and scary happens. Um, and then, you know, on the opposite side of that, do you have the day-to-day -day stuff? Can you go in for your well women's exam? Uh, can you go in and get a, a, a vaccine or, or if you have a cold, you know, call somebody up and, you know, get some prescriptions or an antibiotic, right? And so knowing that you have all of those different pieces is important uh, as much as it is to understand how to use your healthcare. And so we have three things that we really aim to do. Um, and these are things that you wanna be looking at on any of the healthcare that you're looking for. <clears throat> and that's to lower your monthly cost. So how much you're paying in those premiums, right? Um, how much you're paying uh, when you just go to the doctor year to, uh, year to year, right? Um, and bringing down that cost as much as we can. Uh, on average, our family members' plans uh, are saving uh, $10,000 when they switch their healthcare. That's $10,000 that they're then being able to put back into their business, uh, put back into their family just by switching their healthcare. Uh, the second thing that we are doing is trying to upgrade that network. You probably have a doctor that you've worked with for a long time, right? And you don't want to switch that doctor just because you have to switch your plan. Uh, and so we have created tons of ways to be able to hold on to that doctor, keep those relationships uh, and that trust available. Uh, and so all of our plans are on nationwide PPO networks. Uh, those are large, large networks. For anyone that potentially is out of that network, we also have out of network coverage. Um, so that is super important. And then a whole bunch of ways that we are lowering the cost of your care by building out this network. 
Uh, and then the third piece is your out-of-pocket costs. And when I think of out-of-pocket costs, I'm thinking, you know, when, like I said, that big and scary thing happens, right? God forbid, you know exactly how much you will pay uh, and know that that is going to include everything, that there's no limitations on that uh, and that you are comfortable with that cost, right? And so we are lowering that out-of-pocket cost by almost 80%. And this was a huge goal of ours, especially with self-employed people because of the plans that are normally available to you. Uh, and so on all of our plans, <clears throat> we include a couple big things that we think are really important for your day-to-day. -day. Uh, number one, uh, is free telemedicine. So it's included in all of our plans. You can access a doctor at any time, 24 seven for $0. That means when you're hurting, when you're sick, whatever it is, you can get a medical opinion without having to go into an urgent care or the emergency room. And that saves a ton of money, but also a ton of headache. Uh, with preventative care, we think that this is so important. And so we include it in every single one of our plans. Uh, that's going to include, you know, uh, getting your shots, anything uh, that has to happen year to year for your kids, your well women's exam, your uh, checkups, all of those things are included uh, in every single one of our plans, uh, as well as mental health. We feel, uh, and power especially feels that this is super important, uh, that your mental health allows you to build your business in so many different ways, make sure that you can keep going. And so we have partnered with Talkspace, uh, who is a virtual mental health uh, group, and that has been able to expand that mental health option by huge bounds. And so that is included in all of our plans. Uh, also, uh, prescription drugs, making sure that access to prescription drugs uh, is very much affordable uh, and that we can accommodate all those series of drugs as well. And so on most of our plans, it's actually a zero dollar copay for uh, those generic prescriptions. And then we have these amazing patient prescription programs to help with uh, all of your high cost RX. The second piece of this, um, again, is upgrading your network. Uh, and, you know, this is really incredible. I talked about it a little bit before, but these are some of the ways that we've really been able to broaden that, that network. Um, I don't know if some of you guys have uh, had some challenges in the past uh, going into a doctor you know, saying, hey, are you in my network? Like, I need to know because I've got to understand exactly how much I'm going to pay. Uh, and so really understanding the difference between different networks is important. Uh, when you go on to healthcare.gov, most of those plans are going to be on an EPO or HMO network. Those are going to be a lot smaller and typically aren't going to offer out-of-network coverage. Uh, and so on our plans, we really have like three tiers of your network. You've got your PPO network, right? That's your nationwide uh, like PPO network. That is the network of doctors that you're a part of um, and really gives you quite a lot of access. Uh, then you have that out of network. Uh, and so on most of our plans, we're going to have some kind of out of network coverage. Uh, so when you go to a doctor uh, that might not be in the network, but you really love them and you think that they're important, you can go to them. And then the third thing is our care coordination. This is absolutely something that you're not going to find on any other plan. Uh, and this is like a white glove service uh, where you work with our care coordinators. Uh, when the doctor comes in and says, hey, I need to, you need to get a surgery. You need to do this. Um, we need to, you know, whatever it is, right? You can come to us and we're going to help you find high quality, low cost providers. And when you use the private providers that we recommend, your care will actually be completely free. We waive all of your out-of-pocket costs. And so that is really incredible. 
you can think, um, I don't know, maybe all of you guys just think right now about what your deductible is um, or your out-of-pocket is on your healthcare at the moment, right? Imagine if you could just waive that and not have to pay that. That's what this does. And so really incredible ways to help our members. Uh, and so uh, I'll, right after this, um, I'll open it up for questions because I'm sure you guys will have a couple questions for me. So be thinking throughout this, you know, uh, hopefully I answer some of those, but I'm happy to answer anything uh, that you have at the end here. Um, we do have something for everyone. We've got a couple different types of plans. We've got two big categories, really, of plans. So one is our innovative ClearShare plans, uh, and then we have our major medical insurance plans. And so uh, the innovative uh, ClearShare plans, those are healthshare based. Uh, and so those are really incredible. Uh, they are all on a PPO network. There are a couple limitations with those plans, and I'll go through those in a bit. Um, but they are going to provide really low cost care for uh, your day to day uh, stuff, as well as that annual max, that max out of pocket that you would pay is going to be the lowest on these plans. Uh, and the way that we're able to do that um, is by you know, putting a couple limitations on there. It's also a very innovative uh, type of plan, um, which I'll go through in a bit. But those monthly costs, the premiums and the out-of-pocket are going to be the lowest on those plans. For our major medical insurance, they will be a little bit more expensive, but they are full insurance. Uh, there is copay and HSA options. Uh, those are also on a PPO network. Uh, very low copays for everything. So your day-to-day -day care, doctors, prescriptions, diagnostics, as well as a range of deductible options and out-of-pocket costs. So you can kind of identify like where your risk level is there um, if something were to happen, right? Uh, and then there'll be really affordable premiums, especially when you're comparing it to healthcare.gov. Um, on the other side of that too, we've got supplemental insurance. So dental, vision, critical illness, accident. Um, for you guys, uh, if you just need dental or vision, uh, or you just wanna grab some critical illness or whatever it is, you can grab those a la carte. We can help you with that. Um, you might have a plan uh, through your spouse or uh, you know another thing that you're on that is working for you. Uh, and so you can definitely grab those. So how do you know which of these plans is going to be right for you? This is where I can kind of talk through, you know, how you make that decision. Um, but at the end of the day, that is why we are here is to help you make this decision, right? And understand what plan is best for you. Uh, and so we work with you one-on-one -on -one, uh, and you just book a call with us. I'll show you how to do that here in a bit. Uh, and then we will bring you through this, but just so you can start identifying and going ahead and doing some research on your own, if you'd like, uh, for those clear share plans, those are amazing for anyone that's interested in a little bit unique, innovative healthcare solution, uh, in exchange for a lower cost, right? Uh, these plans, they're not insurance, but they, instead, they're a medical cost sharing group. Uh, and it is really incredible. It can give you some really low cost health care, especially for somebody that's generally healthy um, and wants to hop on these plans. Those limitations are, a, there's a couple of them. Number one, those plans are for people under 65. The second one is that smokers uh, are allowed on this plan. Uh, but they pay $50 more per month, and that's to cover any tobacco-related uh, illnesses. Uh, and then pre-existing conditions from the past 12 months are not covered on this plan. That doesn't mean that if you have a pre-existing condition, that this isn't the right plan for you. It just means we want to talk with you about it, because say if you're uh, controlling that and, and on a prescription or something like that, that's not going to matter. It's really that big stuff. 
um, that's going to matter on those plans, okay? So definitely talk with our benefit consultant if you think that this is going to be one of those plans. I'll tell you right now, I'm on one of those plans, and I I love it. Um, for major medical insurance, this is new this year, super incredible. It is a group traditional insurance plan, uh, and so really amazing uh, to be a self-employed person and have access to a group plan. Uh, and so uh, there are no limitations or pre on pre-existing conditions or age on these plans. Um, it is going to be the most robust coverage that we offer. Um, I will say that if you're in the middle of a treatment plan, we want to make sure you get on the right plan because some of the plans require you to work with care coordination, whereas others don't. So we just want to talk with you and make sure that you get on the right plan so that we can get you set up uh, and that transition can be really easy. Uh, and then traditional marketplace plans. All of our benefit consultants are fully licensed. They can broker anything on the marketplace. And so if there is a better fit plan, depending on where you live or how much you're planning to make this year, because you might actually be able to get a subsidy through the marketplace, um, especially if you're building your business, right? Um, and so we just want to make sure that you know how much that plan actually costs in case your business booms, right? Uh, and then that subsidy is taken away and you end up having to pay that back in your taxes next year, right? So I love to put that out there just to make sure that everybody is aware of that uh, when they're looking at the price. Um, but we will help you get on one of those plans as well, because some of those plans can be really amazing, especially if you live in certain areas. Um, and so as well as like if you're on the right plan, we are going to tell you that uh, if you are getting great benefits and doing that at affordable price, we're going to say, hey, like, do not switch from this plan. That is a great plan. So what you can consider us is really a a consultative service um, to be able to give you a little bit more information. Um, and so uh, when we're talking about the plans, I'm just going to dive real fast into uh, what they look like so that when you guys go on to get a quote, uh, you know how to kind of navigate that a little bit better. Uh, if you're thinking that a clear share plan is going to be best for you, uh, we have three big options there. Uh, the things that you have to think about is what you want that day-to-day -day coverage to look like and then that major incident coverage, okay? So for the day-to-day -day coverage, you've got your advanced, your basic, and your HSA. The HSA is a health savings account. Um, I typically suggest this for people that have used an HSA account before, um, you know, rarely visit the doctor. That's how you're paying for your day-to-day -day care. So if you've used it before, that might be a really good option for you. Otherwise, I would suggest going on the advanced or basic. Um, these are great plans. They basically work like a um, regular insurance uh, plan where you have copays that you pay when you go to the doctor, get your prescription, uh, or get diagnostics. Um, and so for the basic, you will have those set amounts for your doctor's visits and prescriptions, and those will be in network. For the advanced plan, uh, this is just a more comprehensive plan, uh, and that is going to have set amounts for everyday care like doctor's visits, prescriptions, and diagnostics, and also includes out-of-network care as well. So if a doctor is not in your network, you are able to visit them and you have a copay for that. So really, really incredible plans. When it comes to your major incidents, this is where that out-of-pocket cost comes down so much, y'all. Um, you basically pick your individual annual max from one of these three options. You've got $1,000, $2,500, or $5,000. So essentially, if something happens to you, say I break my ankle, right? I'm on the $1,000 plan. So I go into the doctor um, and I pay that first $1,000 of my bills. The rest is paid 100% by your healthcare. 
if something else were to happen to you later in the year, uh, you are paying nothing because you've already reached that annual max, right? So that is how that works. And you can see, especially if you were to compare that to potentially your, uh, your plan that you're on at the moment, that is a huge savings. The other piece of this, when you're comparing these plans, is thinking about what is your deductible on whatever plan you're on right now. So what a deductible is, is how much you pay before your healthcare even kicks in at all. These plans are $0 deductibles. That means that you are immediately paying those copay or what we call costs to go to the doctor. So $20 to go to the doctor, in network, $50 to go out of network, right? Those things kick in immediately, no deductible. Uh, and so really incredible savings on these plans. Uh, also, you've got your supplemental insurance, so dental, vision, accident, and critical illness. For those of you that want a more traditional major medical plan, these plans are amazing. We have five options. Uh, four of those are copay based plans, and then one of them is an HSA plan. So uh, those two on the bottom, the minimum value plan and the HSA plan, for both of those plans, you uh, must use care coordination to access those benefits, but that allows you to save a ton of money. Um, and I'll just say, if you are getting on any of our plans, you definitely want to be using care coordination. It's an incredible service that is going to save you money. But on those two plans, it is required to get the benefits from this plan. Um, and so again, an HSA, I think is really good for somebody that has used an HSA before. Um, and then the MVP plan does have copays for your everyday care. Uh, for those copay plans, um, up at the top, there's three different options. They have a range of deductibles and out-of-pocket costs. So you just kind of pick the one that makes the most sense for you. Uh, and then those copays uh, are going to cover your doctor's visits, prescriptions, diagnostics. Um, when you are looking at these plans, uh, I think the important thing to remember is that you do have those three different tiers in your network, right? Care coordination, which is completely free. Then you have in-network, which has copays for doctors, specialists, all of those different things, right? And then you're out of network. And we also have coverage for your out of network. And so when you're comparing, contrasting, and we'll help you do this, um, that is what you want to look at, okay? Uh, and then you've got your supplemental insurance. Uh, and so that hopefully gave you a good overview um, of the plans. Obviously, you're going to want to dive a little bit deeper. Um, maybe you guys just want to talk to somebody and have them understand it all for you too. Uh, and we're here to do that. Um, and so uh, when you should enroll, I'll just say right now is open enrollment for healthcare.gov. So it's just a really good time to look at your healthcare and see what you're going to be paying for next year. Um, and I'll say that for our plans, while they're open all year round, uh, it is uh, important to hop on this now, especially if you're considering major medical, because the end date for that is December 31st in order to get a plan started on January 1st, okay? After that, there is a waiting period throughout the year, uh, and that's from 90 to 60 days. Um, and then for your clear share plans, you can enroll at any time. Uh, and so what you need to do, there's three things that will help you a lot. Myagenthealth.com is where you can do these things. The thing I'm going to recommend the most is to book a call with a benefit consultant. These, uh, they are so amazing. They literally will talk with you one on one talk about all your needs, um, you know, compare and contrast a plan that you're already on, look up your doctors, all of those different things. Uh, the second thing is to, you know, get a quote. Uh, you can look at the plans. It's so easy. It takes about 30 seconds. So if you hop on there on the right-hand side, I'll show you here in a sec. Um, and then 
Uh, the third thing is to enroll. Once you know that this is the right plan for you, it takes five minutes. It is so easy to enroll in one of these plans. And so let me uh, go ahead and show you really fast. Um, here, let me see. I'll go ahead um, right on here when you hop onto the website. So everybody, you're on your computer already. Go ahead and pull up myagenthealth.com. Um, and when you hop in here, you're going to be able to just go through um, a quick quote. You can do it for major medical or health share. Uh, and once you complete that, it takes about, I don't know, I think there's like four questions, five questions or something. It'll actually recommend a plan and it'll look like this. Uh, and so typically you'll have your price right there um, and you'll be able to just go through, look up your providers here, uh, look at all of the different costs uh, for different things, really dive into this. Um, and then you can book a call with a benefit consultant right at the bottom there or at all the time right at the top. So those are the things I recommend. I do want to um, open it up for any questions. Uh, I really appreciate you guys um, hopping on here today. And hopefully that was helpful for you guys, especially in the open enrollment season. Yes. Yeah. So, Thank you so much for that, Erin, for that information. Anybody have any questions for Erin? Sorry if I missed it. This is Isela. Hi, Erin. Thank hey. you for an awesome presentation. It's a lot, you know, for those of us that are not in the insurance, it's a little still confusing, but <laughs> but how do we get a quote from you? How do we reach out to you, contact you to see what? Sure, what yeah. I'll um, post in here. If you guys have any like specific questions, I'm happy to answer anything. But honestly, um, I'll say that the best thing to do is just to uh, hop on to the website and you can get a quote. I mean, like literally in 30 seconds, you will have the price of your plan. Um, and it'll ask you like how many family members will be on the plan. Like, uh, I think the only thing that really differentiates the price a little bit is age of the oldest member on the plan. Um, and so it's super, super easy to just even like do an initial comparison, right? Um, but then when you hop on the call, honestly, they're going to talk with you about everything you can answer. Like if you have anything specific, you know, healthcare is really unique for everybody. Um, and so, you know, making sure that your doctor's in network, like making sure that your prescription's covered, um, all of those different things uh, are things our benefit consultants can do and help you with. Um, and so they're there, you know, as you're deciding what plan is best for you um, to help help you pick the right one. I had a question, Erin. I had a one on one consultation and I was just kind of looking for a different experience with the with a different person. Is it possible to change my person? Because I tried to book another one and it assigned me to the same person. I ha I hate to say that, but I just didn't get clarity after speaking to that person. So I totally um, get that. And that's where I can hop in um, and help you a little bit with that. So um, what I'll do, Cynthia, do you mind just sending me a quick email um, and I will pop you with some, I have a, you know, everybody has a different personality uh, and I think it's really important to match with a person that like you feel really comfortable with. And so um, I'd like to say that everybody is, great for everyone. But uh, again, you you have different personalities. So I will help you find the right person. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'll send you an email. And I just wanted to share a quick story, Erin. So I do have a Clearwater plan. Oh, uh, yes, I do. Um, and it was it was it was a tough decision. I've been self-employed my entire life, basically, but almost my whole adult life. And um, I was using before Kaiser, been with Kaiser my whole life because um, I was able to get group benefits through my company, right? Through my corporation, but it was so expensive. My husband and I don't go to the doctor. I mean, we do the preventive stuff, but we haven't had any surgeries. And so all this time for years, I'm like, oh, gosh, you know, am I paying too much for insurance? How do I get a better, 
you know, better insurance, right? Because it's expensive. Looked at one of your plans, booked an appointment, looked at one of your plans. They reviewed what I had. They looked at what they had. They looked at our health situation. And I must say that I'm paying 50% less, about 50%, almost 50% less than what I've been paying. So I found it really been, and I'm from, I'm, I thought I would never switch just because of, like you said, you're comfortable with that same doctor that I've had for the past, however many years, but no, I, I, I I'm comfortable with the doctor, but I never see him because I, I, <laughs> yeah, I don't have to go in that often. So yeah, I thought it, I thought it was very beneficial. I was very happy when power made that partnership and, and yeah, I'm sure I'm not the only one in that boat. <laughs> well, I love hearing that. And I think it's so important. Um, you know, for everybody to hear those things, because healthcare can feel like this, I don't know, this really hard thing to understand and to make changes with. Um, and so, you know, taking a second, like taking, you know, maybe it's half your day, right? And just getting it done uh, and like making sure you are saving the amount of money that you should be saving, that you also trust the benefits um, that you're getting. and that like you can use your plan in other places, whereas Kaiser is like a really hard one to use in other places, um, even though they have fabulous services, right? Um, like, yeah, it's just really important. So I love that you just put that out there. I think um, whatever you guys can do to just make this easier, literally, Marissa, you're, Fifty percent is like a percentage, right? But like that is a lot of money when you actually convert it to money mm -hmm. for the year, right? Like that is a huge amount of money that you are saving every single year now, uh, just literally by switching your healthcare. Something that you weren't even technically using. Right. Um, so yeah, it's it's important. I agree. Cool. Any, Any other questions, y'all? Uh, if you do have any others that come up, um, I am happy to answer them. You feel free to send me an email. Um, and then also, honestly, just hop on a call. You'll get your answer, like you'll get your questions answered. And so for those of you that don't know, we send out a newsletter after each of these uh, meetings. It's going to have today's recording. It's also going to have Erin's contact information. So if you have more questions, you want to get in touch with her, you'll have her direct contact information. If you are not on the list for the newsletters, please drop your email in the chat, your preferred email in the chat, and you will be added to that list today. Okay. And on that note, we will just jump back over and look at marking our calendars. We don't want to leave without letting you guys know um, what the next incredible trainings that are coming up are. Uh, I mentioned earlier, December 10th is Power Day. So there's, there's going to be Power Day in a bunch of different cities and a bunch of different states. I am going to be a co-host in San Diego down at Corporate for Power Day. So just check the Power Calendar to find out where you, you know, where, which one you can attend. Uh, December 12th, that's Monday. We have our Monday forums on Monday. We also have our power hour every Monday night. So at 5 p.m. every Monday night, we have our power hours. December 13th, that's our Tuesday. We have our team training. Um, it's hosted by the Power Hitters and the Solar Warriors Tribe. Zoom with JB will get you there. That's Tuesday from 10 to 11. I did miss another training. We On Mondays, we have a training with JC Rangel. Um, and that's also from 10 to 11. So Mondays is JC's training. Connect with JC is that is that um, Zoom link. And then Tuesdays is Jonathan Bernasso's training, Zoom with JB. And then on Wednesdays, we have our masterclass immersive. So please tune in every Wednesday so that you can get connected with your business. Thursdays, you have us, our Women of Power training every Thursday from 10 to 11. Um, and then what else do we have on here? And that's it for today, okay? Also, also, please mark your calendar to come back next week. We have the one, we have the only Mr. Chris Pernasso, one of the solar twins. Um, I'm sure a lot of us know him. We know his brother. We know them both. So he has blessed us and said that he will come and train us on some solar onboarding tips. Okay. So he's been with the company. Has it, is it two years or one year? Whatever it is, he's done some amazing things with this business. He's grown it incredibly fast, incredibly strong. And he does that with his systems and his tips. And he's agreed to come in and educate us on that. So please come back next week for that training. And then again, I did mention the newsletter. Here is an example of the newsletter. 
Um, this was the one that went out in thanks around Thanksgiving time. So it's a weekly recharge. It's giving you the trainings that we do every week. There's a link for that. It's giving you the latest and greatest announcements from power. This is when uh, Cynthia and I were in the contest. Um, there's a mentee resource section. So if you are, if you are a tier one or tier two and just need a little bit of more training to get to tier three, there's a resource section there and then also mark your calendar. And so it's hyperactive. You can click each of these links and go and sign up to mark your calendar for any of the events that are coming up with power. Okay. And then last but not least, we like to leave with a closing quote. The quote for this week was having a vision for what you want is not enough. Vision without execution is hallucinations. <laughs> I don't know who the author of that quote is. I thought it was funny. So that's the quote that we decided to use this week. On that note, I want to thank everyone for arriving. Thank you for showing up each week. We hope to see you here next week. We're going to stop the recording and we're going to hang around if you have any more questions to ask of any of the mentors that are in the room. Thank you for taking the time to watch the Women of Power training series. I hope that you got some great value out of that video and there's much, much more where that came from. Listen, if you'd like to join Power or find out more about this awesome and amazing platform, please feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description. I look forward to connecting with you real soon. Have a great day.